Grace and peace, brothers and sisters. My name is Nick, and I thank God for you. <sighs> prayer. In the most simple sense, prayer just means talking to God. Prayer is a crucial part of the Christian life, but why is it that so many of us still have basic, unanswered questions such as, how often am I supposed to pray? How am I supposed to pray? Should I ask God for things? Do I have to thank God all the time? Should I just talk about my day? I want to share five practical tips that have Encourage me in my prayer life, and I hope they can help you in the time you spend with the Lord as well. One, set an alarm every day for prayer. If you've never done this before, I'd advise you to have minimum time portions and to start off small. Pray for maybe two or three minutes at a time and increase every week the minimum time you should pray. Trust me, you will soon crave to pray longer than your minimum time as you practice prayer more. I'd also advise you to set your alarm during a realistic time frame when you don't have class, when you're typically not with friends, etc. Lastly, I would say try to stick to this alarm at all costs and pray during this a lot of time. It really is a small amount of time in the grand scheme of your day that you're one on one with God, so let's try to be consistent in how we offer that to Him. For me, this was helpful because I knew every day I would have at least one intentionally set apart time where I could just talk to God. Not while I'm studying, not while I'm working, just to talk to God. Two, write your prayers down in a journal. I don't do this all the time, but I find this to be helpful, especially when my mind is trailing off or when I'm tired. If you get lost in your thoughts easily, then this tip might help you. Journaling your prayers helps you to slow down your thinking to match your writing speed instead of sporadically just thinking about everything. It also makes sure that the words you're writing have meaning and that you're not just endlessly repeating the same thing. Three follow the acts model. It can often be confusing how to pray, so for me, the acts model was a really helpful structure to follow. Acts is an acronym for adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. First, we adore God for the gracious and loving God that he is. Then we confess our sinfulness and our brokenness to him in whatever way is relevant to yourself. Afterwards, we thank him for all the things that he has given and done for us in our lives. Lastly, we take cue from Matthew 7, 11, and we ask that his will be done in specific ways. Disclaimer, not every prayer needs to look exactly like this. I just found it helpful to follow, especially when I don't know what to pray. One of my favorite parts about this model is starting off in adoration. Uh, it really just centers my heart and reminds me that there's so much to talk to my beautiful God about. Four, post sticky notes when you get prayer requests. If you don't already, you should regularly be asking your brothers and sisters in Christ for ways that you can lift one another up in prayer. Instead of just letting these prayer requests float around somewhere in your brain, write them down on a sticky note and attach them to your desk, your wall, or even your door. Just somewhere that you'll be sure to see often. This will remind you to pray for your brothers and sisters in Christ every time you see those sticky notes. Five. Memorize and often pray the Lord's Prayer. This is literally how Jesus teaches us to pray. I have prayed and recited this prayer hundreds of times and I still can't get over the beauty of what this prayer contains. This prayer centers our heart on God and our position to Him. Don't feel like you're being ingenuine to God if you pray this, as if you're reading from a pre-made script. 
for he cares much more about the heart that prays than the words themselves. If you want some extra credit, I encourage you to read and study through the entirety of Matthew 6, uh, which contains the Lord's Prayer. Lastly, I want to encourage you guys to view prayer as a way to be in constant relationship with God and not as a chore or a burden. I've been trying to call my mom every day and to be honest, uh, it's not that easy. Sometimes I'm busy or sometimes she's busy, but the reason I try to call her every day is not because every day I have radical news to share with her or that I feel like she would love me any less if I didn't call her, but simply because I love hearing her voice and talking to her. I love hearing the mundane things about her day and I know she loves hearing the small things about mine as well. This communication is but a small picture of what it means to be in relationship to our Heavenly Father. The grace of God be on you brothers and sisters. Love you lots. Peace.